Lesbians Who Tech, are you ready to do this? I can hear you. Welcome to the stage, our founder, Leanne Pittsford. Come on, get excited. So this is what selling out in the Castro Theater looks like. I'm Leanne Pittsford, the founder and CEO of Lesbian 2 Tech. Whew, holy shit. This feels good. Okay, so how many people, I want you to stand up if this is your first time at Lesbian 2 Tech. I want to see all, wow. All right, you guys definitely need a buddy for the day. You have no, no idea what's coming. I'll, I'll leave, it, leave it for your imagination. So this is a tradition, new timers at Lesbians Who Tack at every event we do, just to loosen you up a little bit. Turn to your neighbor, give him a high five. Give him, or a hug, whatever you want. <laughs> Two is good. Two is max, I think. You can keep going later in the hallway. So a lot of people ask me why Lesbians Who Tech, right? There's a lot of women tech groups. There's, there's a million types of organization. Why, why lesbians? Why queer women? And I started working in the LGBTQ movement, uh, God, a couple years ago. And I would go to LGBTQ events, and I don't know if you experienced this too, but they looked a lot like this. And then I actually started my own technology company about five years ago. And I'd go to tech events, and they looked like this. And I often wondered, <laughs> it turns out you do. You exist. And so this is our second year. This is our second birthday. We have over 15,000 members, 15,000 queer women in technology and their allies in less than two years. We've done events in 33 cities all over the world. This one I'm really proud of. We're really intentional about this. We also um, allow dogs on stage if you, need, if you need a support animal, so there's that too. Um, no, really, but we're all about intersectionality. I know sometimes people don't love the name lesbian, um, but it's about, it's about intersectionality and all identities, lesbian, queer, LGBTQ, all of that. That's what we're all about, and our allies. We produced our second annual White House LGBTQ Tech and Innovation Summit. Some of you went to that, I think. You're here. That's pretty amazing. We hosted our first international summit in Berlin. Brazil, you saw the slow-mo. We're gonna do Tel Aviv this spring. And we actually received our first grant from a couple you may know, the Andreessens. Thanks, Andreessens. So we're launching, we're using these funds to launch two new programs this year. One is called Bring a lesbian to work day. <laughs> How many of you have done mentoring programs? Raise your hand. OK, great. So the idea behind this is that often mentoring programs are really challenging to scale. right? We're trying to scale access to relationships, to people. And by doing it for just one day, it's going to be a shadow career program. We're going to match you based on skills. If you hit it off, great. If not, then you learn something, and you can get matched with another person later. It's like speed dating for mentoring. Um, the second is a coding scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually already awarded over $37,000 to five LGBTQ women to help them learn how to code. So as you can see, there's been a lot of growth with the organization. And 
We also have a new team. You're going to meet them today. But I think there's, this has been the reason for a couple, couple things. A lot of it is you. Whether you're a volunteer, whether you've been a city director, whether you've been, <laughs> have been a good friend of mine that's helped me through the beginning, we've built this organization with a foundation of people that want to build authentic relationships. They want a community. They want to show up for themselves and for other people. And because of that ethos, that strong intention to be intersectional in everything we do, and especially, we consider ourselves a tech conference first. You'll notice there are women, literally speaking today, that are helping us cure cancer, getting us to Mars in 2020. They just happen to be LGBTQ women. And that's what we're all about. And I think that's the reason we've been, we've been able to build not only an organization, but a movement. And I'm so honored to be your leader and to build this with you. And I think because of that, we have a little more credibility than we've had in the past. So much so that people are starting to, to notice us. And we actually, you're gonna leave me hanging right now? Dom. So President Obama sent us a letter. This is Dom, everyone, our new VP of growth. Sorry. Um, those are the rules on that side. I send greetings to all those attending the Lesbians Who Tech Summit. We live in an extraordinary time in human history. Technology is constantly evolving, fueling our economy and improving the lives of people across the planet. What were once mere ideas in the minds of the optimistic are now the realities we see every day. We have platforms for individual expression that help us recognize our common humanity and we power our lives with hardware that continues to shrink, making our world smaller and closer than ever before. As barriers to equality and opportunity break down, we look to trailblazing innovators like you to seek new frontiers and guide us toward a future of greater inclusivity and understanding. I wish you all the best as you gather in San Francisco to celebrate innovators and harness your creative potential. President Barack Obama. So I think now that we have a letter from President Barack Obama, really anything's possible, right? <laughs> endless, endless possibilities. But really, there's so much more we can do. And so I really, I need you, I need your ideas. You can tweet to me directly, LWT Optimize. But I really want to stress, we are here to provide you value. Um, we work as hard and fast as we can, but we love you. We're so happy to have you. And are you ready to get started?